I'm not going back out. The fog doesn't lift and he pushes off. I'm staying here. It's the complete most ridiculous thing he's ever done. Brett Rogers' plan is simple. Build a team, build a boat, and then navigate the Mississippi River. His mission, to live and document his journey, all without burning a single tank of gas. If you were to look from space, and you saw the Earth, and you saw all the continents, and you saw these blue lines cutting through all the land, be the logical place to go explore the land. Since the beginning of time, that's where people have gone. That's where animals have gone. That's what's moved ideas, moved armies. It's something we've overlooked. It's so obvious. We've been on the river for two months and three days. We are so far behind where I thought we'd be. It's one of those moments where you know, you just wish you were doing a shorter expedition and it was almost over. People always give me credit because I'm the only girl going down the river with five guys. But I don't deserve any more credit than you guys because I'm doing the exact same thing that you're doing. And they ask me, oh, do you like rowing or do you just steer? Get ready, get ready. Hold on. Man River, I grew up on it, I swam in it as a child. I think they're the veins of the country, and I think they're, they're like our lifeblood. You can get a job, you can make a million dollars, but if your environment's destroyed, what do you have? I mean, what, what's there to enjoy? As a Lakota people, and as, as the people of this land, they say that the, the water is, is sacred. It's the most powerful medicine in the world. We cry, we cry water coming down, you know, the tears of happiness, the tears of sadness. All of this, it's all water. It's not even the factories that bother me and the pollution. <laughs> It's the lack of current. It's the lack of free-flowing water. It's one of the defining natural features of North America. It's as significant as the Rocky Mountains or Appalachia, and the river defines so much of this country. We need people today that think this is a great adventure and are doing it. Perpetuate this thing, because this is where it's at for my money. There's a lot of middle in this expedition. There's a lot of middle. There's a beginning and there's an end, and there's a lot of middle. The world's third largest river system, the Mississippi, is filled with endless danger, beauty, and adventure. Over the span of 110 days, Across 10 U.S. states, Brett and his team face super tankers, barges, endless rain, and unimaginable pollution. Still, they push on. This is the real life account, the last expedition to travel the Mississippi before the spill that would change America forever. This is the story of Old Man River. <laughs> 